Hi guys, so I calmed down before filming this video because I'm not gonna lie, I was um, a little frazzled. I did a little meditation and now I feel very centered to talk about this. If you're not aware, I was not planning on posting this video. It is Monday and I'm posting this video literally right after I filmed this. I'm gonna try to compress everything because the first time I filmed this, it was very long and I just don't even feel the need to um, make it this long. But if you don't know what's been happening, if you don't follow me on social media, which you don't have to, you should if you want. Um, but basically, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'm not here to ever expose anyone, to get involved in other people's dramas, to, you know, talk about the character of other people on this planet, because it's really sometimes not any of my business. But when you fuck with my business and you try to steal from me, I will stand up for what I believe in, and I will stand up for my viewers and other potential customers of your bullshit. So, basically, if you've been following, I don't even feel like I need to start with an introduction of myself or what I do, my viewers and you guys who watch me, I think I'm very transparent and I trust that you have the capacity to judge who is authentic and who is genuine and real and has good intentions and who's just kind of mean at the core uses their followers and passive aggressive i think that's very obvious and i don't feel like i need had feel the need to you know even justify myself i'm sure if you've been watching me you know the type of person i am you know my character you know that i care about you guys more than anything in this world and that you my viewers mean everything to me that's why i always reply to comments and emails and put out guides and do coaching i you guys are the whole world and if you've watched my vlogs for months or years i think you can tell what kind of genuine person i can at the end of the day from the bottom of my heart say i'm a really good fucking person i have the highest intentions from anyone i have never done anything i i never do anything mean i've never done anything mean i don't go after people i don't ever steal cheat copy anything i'm a literally an authentic and genuine person to the very core of who i am and so that just i'm just really happy i can say that so basically if you've been watching you know i've been coming out with guides and like a crystal guide a how to transform your life guide my monthly m membership and all of these guides are literally channeled for me they're authentic content they're genuine content there's nothing stolen from anyone or taken i think it is 100 percent from me my idea not not taken from anything literally just channeled for you guys like my pure content and it's something i put a lot of hard work into literally 95 percent of my week revolves around content for you guys whether it's vlogs guides memberships coaching i do like 40 hours of coaching every week like my whole life is my brand and business so it's for me to take this very seriously and basically i guess i'll start off with who i'm addressing i never call names but i just feel like i have to, at this scenario i have to miss marissa lace here on youtube um you know, I never felt the need to address uh, her business malpractice, how rude and passive aggressive she is to her followers, her lack of knowledge on all the topics she talks about. I never felt the need to address that because, you know, I was like, let her do her thing, even though I did feel kind of uncomfortable with the fact of how educated I am on topics of metaphysics and spirituality that she was giving kind of inaccurate information, to be completely honest, honestly, very inaccurate information. I was like, whatever, it's not my place to take a stand, you know? But once she started stealing from me, this is when I decided, you know, it's time. It's time to expose the fakes and because I do not want you guys being influenced by someone who doesn't know who the fuck, what the fuck they're talking about and I want to set a precedent that you're not going to fuck with my business and get away with it. So, Miss Marissa Lace here, you know, she claims to be positive, spiritual, but I mean, if you've watched any of her vlogs, which is like, she was like one vlog a week, complaining, saying it's hard to ship out her 10 orders, people literally, all her comments, I mean, her viewers, I think, see through it, most of them, I would say like 80% of her viewers see through the bullshit, they're like, it's been seven weeks, I haven't gotten my order, you haven't read, I bought a Skype consultation, you haven't emailed me in 17 weeks, and she blocks, she's so rude to her comments, you can literally go to her vlogs and see the way she interacts with her viewers, it is with the utmost disrespect i have ever fucking seen um and then not to mention she has a website called light love and lace i believe um where the crystal descriptions are not actually coinciding with the metaphysical properties of the crystal which is malpractice she also i know that takes like seven weeks to ship out i mean girl didn't go to business school girl didn't even go to college so what can i say you know what i mean it takes some sort of brains to run a business both my parents went to top schools for their mba business schools um university of chicago i'm sure you know and i am enrolled in college as a communications major so writing is my specialty writing and speaking so i know what the fuck i'm talking about so you know i'm not gonna be too hard you know for someone who didn't go to any type of schooling pretty good you know pretty pretty good effort i already was a little bit appalled at that and i was just kind of always kind of frustrated at someone who's in a spiritual community to see the type of this type of malpractice i didn't care not my place i live my life about three days ago no about 
yeah, about like, no, first five days ago, I saw that on her website, it was brought to my attention through some friends, um, that she was literally copying the way I do my descriptions on my website, which I was like, whatever. I do like a very styled way with like italics, bolding. I'm sure if you know my, all my things are authentic. I don't steal from anyone. I don't take inspiration. I literally channel authentic content. I am genuine. Everything I put out is, came for me, came from my fucking ideas. I'm not over here creeping on the people's pages, stealing shit. Everything I put out, I fucking came up with. And that's something I'm damn proud of. I, the way I do my descriptions, the way I do the bolding, the style, it's just my style. It's my vibe. Everyone has their vibe. You guys like me for my vibe. I like other creators for their vibe, not for someone trying to rip somebody off. So I already noticed that she was changing all her descriptions on her site to do like my style of description. If you've bought anything from me, you kind of know on my website my style of description, which I was already like, whatever, this bitch. If she wants to copy instead of channeling her own content, whatever. That was, I was already a little irritated. Then I see three days ago that she purchases my guides for me under her real name. If you're gonna try to steal, you probably should've been a little smarter and just use a di like a fucking fake name. But no, she used her real name, real address, everything. And I see she buys my guides and I go, hmm. And I deep, deep down was like, I swear, if this girl tries to copy, like steal from me, steal my ideas and put them out, I was like, she will not. She would not do that publicly. Like, no, especially publicly to, to, to buy with your real name. Bitch, if you're going to steal, I mean, I, I, once again, if you're not educated or knowledgeable, what can you expect from someone with such a, like, I'm not, okay, I'm not going to say a comment, but what can you expect from somebody of this character, you know, this moral compass, shall we say? Then today, it was brought to my attention by many, many people. She puts out, I'll, I'll, I'll put all this on the screen, but she puts out an Instagram story being like, Crystal Guide being released soon, three days after she purchases mine. I don't think I need to show you a clear correlation. I think it is very obvious what she was trying to do. I'm sure she saw my business being extremely successful and decided instead of, hmm, let me put out genuine content. Let me care about my followers. Let me actually ship things on time. Let me put out content that's authentic. She decides to go steal, which I mean, what can you say? I'm not going, she's not educated on what she's talking about. I think it is very clear. I think you can ask anybody who's a metaphysical or spiritual type of expert to watch her videos and give you their feedback. Not even me. Go literally like ask somebody who knows what they're talking about to look at her videos and they will tell you this girl does not know what she's talking about. So that always bothered me that you know she doesn't know what she's talking about and she's telling vulnerable girls young girls who don't know and who are looking for guidance and they're taking this advice which you know what I mean it's not which isn't correct you know that's just wrong you should not it's just malpractice to the max in every regard in in her way she handles customer service malpractice in product description malpractice I mean the way things are written you can tell the girl needs to take a few writing classes but that's beyond the point but I saw that she was stealing these guys and I was like stealing the crystal guy and I was like oh fuck no like so I the first is not gonna expose and then you know after like talking to a few I also my guys are copyrighted so once her guide comes out my lawyer will be taking a look at it um redistribution copyright claims are very expensive so that will be happening I guess we'll see in the near future if she does decide to go forward with this even if it's free I I saw that she was like trying to put the guide for free now it's still redistribution so there is a really high fine for that and a lot of legal action that can be taken towards that but regardless I was like at first you know I was like should I you know and I realized like this girl is stealing from my brand and I will not stand for that and I will see and it's even it goes beyond that for me because it goes it's one thing to steal from me you know but it's one thing to be a claim to be like a spiritual person to claim to be full of love love and lace whatever that bullshit is like to claim to be like this all-encompassing source of you know alignment and love and to steal and to be so rude to your followers and to have malpractice in your business in every regard i just feel as though it's inappropriate to have somebody online this uneducated this unknowledgeable and this rude here giving information and i will not stand for that as somebody who knows a lot about metaphysics and is knowledgeable I can't, and knows about business practices, there is just so much wrongness going on and there are young girls out there. I know a lot of you guys are older and you guys, you know, can watch videos and kind of can tell who's fake and not. I mean, like I said, like 80% of her viewers drag her in her own videos and are like, stop lying to us. But for the 20% that first still don't see through it, it just makes me sad because I do not want misinformation out there and people to be supporting someone who's a stealer and like a scammer, you know what I mean? Like her crystal website, like I can't imagine buying a crystal from somebody who is that mean, passive aggressive, disgusting, and steals content. Basically, I just wanted to look, get this video out just to let you guys know. I mean, I don't feel like I need to even sway you towards my side or anyone's side. I think that stealing is wrong in any sense. I think it's unethical. I think that clearly her moral compass is not 
pointing in the right direction and I think that I guess when you're that uneducated and that immature, this is kind of where you stem from. And when instead of taking a business class, maybe seeing how you can improve your business, you're going to go from stealing from other creators who are successful. Again, I will be taking legal action once this guide is released, if it is released. And from there, um, I guess we will see redistribution claims. And once legal action starts to be taken, I don't, don't think I'll be able to talk about it online if she does go out with it. But that's where I stand with that. And I already spoke with my lawyer about what kind of content it has to have in there for it to be a content claim and it's very very easy for it to be a redistribution considering she, i'm sure she was planning on copying a lot of it so yep that was all i hope you guys are having a great monday i just felt like i needed to address this again i think you guys know what kind of person i am i think i've been making videos on here for long enough i think that if you've been following my guys if you've been following my tweets you know the type of person i have i am and you know the type of intentions i have for you guys you guys mean the entire world to me oh my gosh coco's right there Born! Born! i think you guys know what kind what kind of intentions i have for you guys and how much you mean to me and how authentic i have been and how i will always will be and i just want to put this out there just so you know you know who to trust and who to look up to you don't have to look up to me but please don't look up to someone who does not have a code of ethics and runs their business in the most unethical way i've seen um yeah that's basically all i have to say i love you guys so much in the words of marissa lace love and light I never